What? It produces sound to no answer. This class doesn't help. It reduces with anybody else. Giving youth its chance in the tough theatre of professional football was labelled by some an ill-advised gamble. But Alex Ferguson kept a protective fatherly arm around the shoulders of his new brood of five fledgling footballers. And the Neville brothers, Philip and Gary, who were good enough to have been first-class cricketers, David Beckham, Paul Scholes and Nicky Butt all matured quickly. Five young men aged 19 to 21 who all now have championship winning medals. Gary has eight England caps, Philip's been in the squad, and the manager's audacity is hailed as brilliant and imaginative and in the true traditions of the club. The important issues of the five of them are they are dedicated. They want to be footballers. There's no side issues with them. Football, that'll do it. That's what they're after. We've always, you know, the young lads have always had a special relationship with Alec, with the boss. <laughs> it's that again, that again. <laughs> Alec. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call him Alec. You can rest easy with him. You know, that you, you can I'll relax a little bit with him also in the fact that you, you know that they're not stupid. They know the score. Nicky, Nicky. Nicky. You didn't really want mine, did Who's you? your favourite oh, player you then? It's not Schmeichel by any chance, is it? No, it's Cantona. There you go. Got them. Oh, you can go away then. We're not signing for you. <laughs> well, it was great when you, you sat with all your, um, your idols from when you was younger. And um, sit there with, next to Eric and Coley and Kim and Dizzy there. And um, it's just brilliant. Everyone just uh, makes you feel welcome. But Who's forward very well from those positions, Nicky? But just look at that. It's a really great run by Butt, and he's pulled it back surely here, and Cantona! Well, this is where I sit, and, and I might stay with Roy and Eric on the side of me, and then um, have a bit of a chat and a, a giggle before the game. Eric's really quiet, so he just like encourages you, and then Roy gives you a bit of stick, and he's just like a comedian of the team, so... It just, um, just, just like makes just all get on, you don't really think about the game until the manager gets it in. Three take on four. And another really superbly timed tackle by Nicky Butt. They help us a lot, you know, Brucey, the captain, he leads by example, always encouraging us, advising us of what to do on and off the pitch. Giggsy as well, even though he's only 21, he's, he's, he's done it all really, so he helps us a lot. He's, he's a good friend of all the young lads, so we're quite close to him, but I think Brucey is the one that helps us all the most. I can remember back when I was a kid, you just wanted to be the, what the ball had come is. You just wanted to look after yourself when you're 18, 19. You just want to be in the team and play well and look after yourself and, and make sure you did all right. But I think they've overcome that. They've grasped what, what this club's all about. That It's not just good enough to be in the Man United shirt. You've got to win and you've got to achieve. Quite a minute journey home from there for me. No, it is, I'm telling you. No, so, so here it is, we're not to bury. Who's driving? What? Emreg's Murk, is it? You? You and Phil? Emreg, yeah. 36 grand each, isn't it? <laughs> Football inspires the dreams of a million young boys. At 12, David Beckham was overawed to win a soccer skills competition and rub shoulders with the likes of Mark Hughes and Gary Lineker and his dreams came to be. Beckham in the bold red of United, providing the cross for Nicky Butts overhead kick on the way to winning the FA Youth Cup in 1992. Ryan Giggs, the captain, was already a first team veteran and another famous five were queuing up to follow in his footsteps. That's when we won the Youth Cup in 92 and um, that's the ball that we used. Keith Gillespie's signature there, David Beckham's. I think all those signatures have changed now. <laughs> Some bad signatures on there. Giggs is on there as well. The manager used to always come and say, you know, he always knew our, our name at 12 year old. You know, he was never too big, never too big to, uh, you know, come up to us and shake your hand and say, how are you doing? And he, he's always been brilliant that way. So I think we're just repaying his loyalty. It's 40 years since the Busby Babes emerged from another United Youth Cup winning side to help win two championships before the death of eight of them in the Munich air crash. Well, They'd beat us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
other chat with Wolf and Guinness. And a lot of them went on to greater things. And we're meant to go on to greater things. I don't know whether we are going to or not. I saw the, the semi final when they played Chelsea. And, and when we went behind against Chelsea, uh, you, you wonder whether they would crumble under the pressure, you know. But they actually thrived on it. This is Neville. Four waiting in the centre for a cross from him. Oh, look at this, David Beckham for Manchester United. Clean through, and they're in front. And uh, eventually we went and won the match. And, and I went into the dressing room afterwards, and little uh, Gary Neville was there, and he was just taking his shoes off, and I said, well, well done, Gary, you know. Uh, that was a great, great performance today. And he, he said... Oh, thanks very much, Mr. Sharp. You know, he was, was just a little boy, really. I can see all the dangers ahead for them, you know. I can see the dangers ahead. Um, they're all wanting David Beckham yesterday, you know, and so you've got to draw the line somewhere. Because quite easily players, young players can get carried away, you know. So you've got to remind them of, about life sometimes and remind them to kick up the backsides just waiting for them if they don't keep their feet in the ground, you know. We've been slaughtered he today <laughs> for wearing denims. He doesn't like us wearing denims. He says our dressed us because we've both got the same colour st <laughs> stuff like it's blue on Mondays. <laughs> he doesn't like us wearing denims. No, he's, he has a go at the lads for wearing funny shoes and things like that. Say it wrecks the feet, but it's just, I think, most of it's in, in jest. It was a stinging rain of criticism that engulfed Alex Ferguson when the summer departures of popular seasoned professionals, Paul Ince, Mark Hughes and Andrei Konchelskis, was followed by a 3-1 defeat for his new fledgling team in their first match of the season at Aston Villa. The first 45 minutes was not a comfortable situation for me, particularly as uh, everyone was writing us off. Still Dwight York, Milosevic, Draper! And Manchester United look a team in trouble. And although we did very well in the second half, we were still being written off, and you know, there's a lot of criticism in the team, but the, the players got on it. You can't win anything with kids. You look at that line at Manchester United today, and Aston Villa at quarter past two when they get the team sheet, it's just going to give them a lift, and it'll happen every time they play as a kid. That day after, we were, uh, I thought the whole world, had, my whole world had collapsed, you know, it was. Fergus super flops and all this business and then the week after we played Blackburn, beat Blackburn away and we were super babes again so it changes but that after that day you know if you felt as though your world had collapsed but you can't get too down about things or you can't get too up when things go well. In hard cash the magnitude of the achievement is the difference between 21 million pounds spent by runners at Newcastle, 400,000 by Manchester United. The triumph of youth that once seemed improbable, impossible, on Sunday became a remarkable reality. I think when they're so young and they're so naive, they just, they didn't have any fear, you know, to win a championship. And they just went out there and played and, and enjoyed it. And uh, to do that all season is, is, a great, is a great thing for them. They've got an unbelievable temperament. They're very young, yeah. And uh, all their best years are in front of them, I hope. Uh, We've just got to be careful we don't um, uh, run them out. <laughs> <laughs>